trained people. We have a generation that flows in the flesh and it is not of God. And that's why people are not being delivered. You are being saved, but you're not being delivered. Right. And then some of you are saved, but you're not committed. You're doing your own thing before God as if he don't see you. And guess what he told me to tell you? He see everything. He see everything. And I'm going to tell you something else. If the head is sick, the body is sicker. I'm going to say it again. If the head is sick, the body is sicker. The anointing goes from the head to the body. You see, it's time to put on your spiritual radar. But you can't do that unless you submit to God all the way. No flesh, no flesh should glory before God. You know, back in the day, I have to tell you about the priest in the tabernacle days. Back in tabernacle days, there was only one priest that was allowed to go before God. And if he had any sin, they would tie a rope around his leg, his foot actually. And if he had any sin, immediately he would fall dead before God. And then they would pull him out. Then they put another one. But don't you know that other one was scared too? Oh my God, what if I'm going to die? We have the privilege to go before God ourselves. This is an honor. But yet I hear people say, well, uh, I'm going to go to church early and just get it over with. Who are you talking to? Who Do you understand who God is? Because we have a church. The name of this message, I forgot to say that, is called Identity Crisis in the Body of Christ. Amen. You don't know who you are. Because if you know who you are, you would come to him with respect and honor. Some of you are doing your own thing, your own way, and, and the sad part is, you can't help it. Because if the leaders ain't right, then nobody can be right anyway. And so it's time to get straight before God. And I have to do this thing just like you said. You see, beloved, sometimes we get entangled in worldly snares. Instead of we changing the world, the church has become worldly. You're not seeing miracle signs and wonders because I'm going to tell you everybody that yourself money. You want to do your own thing. It is time to lay before God and say, God, I'll be stripped of myself. And you, to do this, you have to be real. And I'm going to tell you, people always like to say, I'm going to keep it real. I'm gonna keep you. You're lying before God. Because if you keep it real, then we would see the miracle signs and wonders. And I'm not just talking about y'all. The whole body. Christ is the head. That means we the body. The body can't get along home enough to have no anointing in the first place. Because first of all, some of you are not even tithing. We shouldn't have to pay and print you about tithing. God is giving you everything anyway. He said that I am the owner of everything, heaven and earth, the possessor. Yeah. But yet we give God what we want to give him. <laughs> Woo. It's going to get tighter. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to get tighter. The church of God is in a backslidden state. He says time to change for real. Everybody has a microwave generation. We want things now, but we don't know how to come to the Father. The first thing you have to do is strip of self. And let me tell you what the devil is doing. It's called the power of suggestion. The battlefield is in the mind. If you agree with the devil, then your actions will follow. It is just like when God says, when two to touch and agree, if anything in my name, it should be done. Well, guess what? That's the power of agreement. When Satan gives you something that is contrary to the word of God and you agree with it, then you have just agreed to do that act or that thing or say that. God is trying to warn us. Right now, we're actually in judgment. The church is in judgment. I'm going to say it again. We in judgment. And it cannot be revival until it comes repentance. So God is exposing everybody. I see a big cover being pulled off. Ain't no more playing. And if you're playing, you're about to get exposed. It was your sister or brother. It was you. And it was God that exposed you in the first place. Because guess what? You can't pick back with God no more. If you want to do this thing, be real about it. When you was in the world, you was real about it. So why are you going to come with God faking and shaking like nobody don't know your business in the first place? Nobody got to tell, because God don't tell anyway. The anointing will expose you. The anointing will correct you. The anointing will get you in order. Y'all playing, but it's time for playing. Do you understand the Obamacare is part of the mark of the beast? Do you understand what's getting ready to come? Persecution is getting ready to hit the United States, and you are not ready. If they come to you today or tomorrow and say, renounce Jesus Christ or I cut off your head, will you do it? Oh, 
when you take that, whatever they're selling, the mark, or just want to kill you. It's coming. And God sent me here. I'm an end time apostle. I come with correction. Not that I'm not being corrected because I get corrected first. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you, it's time to stop playing. Because plagues are going to come on you. You remember Pharaoh? He didn't want to let God's people go. Well, this is the same thing. It's time to stop playing. Because God is a God of wrath. A lot of people preach that he's a God of love. But let me tell you, he, he, he has a throne. And yes, I have spiritual insight. And I see God sitting on a throne. But what if I tell you he's not sitting on my He's throne. God is literally standing in the spirit. I'm nervous. I'm like, Father, what are we doing? He said, get my church in order. Tell them the truth. Because you're tired. You're tired. You know you're tired of lying. You know you're tired of doing what you're doing. Then what you going to do about it? It's time to be transparent with yourself. Yes, it, is. it ain't about um, kind of like impressing the next person or oh, I'm going to get in this position. I'm going to be real with you. If your life ain't right at home, you have let business in the church running nothing. Yeah. What are you doing? You out of order anyway. You can't even run your house. You have no business in the church of God. Attending to anything, touching anything, because then you have a curse upon your life. So you have a curse upon a curse. It's time to stop playing, church. It's time. These are souls. This ain't about numbers. This ain't about a little show. The show time and play time is over, God said. And he sent me to tell <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. Man's greatest fear is to be alone. You ever notice? Let me tell you how the enemy got us. Now, I know technology is good. But that's how he got us. We, we, you remember back in, I, you see, I'm 46. I don't mind seeing my age. Back in the day when I would go to church, the old people, they didn't have no music. They, they just were stomping. And, and I, I felt so much anointing and power. But, but then, what I realized when I went home, they live what they taught. They live what they taught. But these days, so many people are playing and straying. You're saying one thing in the church, but you're doing something in the person. And then you wonder why you ain't got no power. I don't let anybody just lay hands on me.